Welcome to another toy review brought to you by Comageddon TV. I'm Shannon and today on the show we're taking a look at Transformers Dinobot Grimlock from Hasbro. Hey guys just a friendly reminder that Comageddon TV is not a made for kids channel. All our videos and playlists on this channel are meant for the adult enthusiast and collector. If you're under the age of 13 make sure you click off now. Parental discretion is advised. All right, guys, so like I said, we're taking a look at the Transformers Dinobot Grimlock from Hasbro. I got this at Dollar General. Um, I was actually surprised to find a full-size Transformers at uh, Dollar General. Uh, they had they had Megatron, same size as the one back there. Uh, kind of cheaper, though. Uh, these, their Transformers are the ones with pegs, kind of like... Um, Kind of like these. Uh, but, you know, the first one I saw was Megatron. And then I, I picked him up and uh, pulled him out a little bit. And saw Grimlock back there. And I've always wanted to get the Dinobots. Uh, so anyway, there's the back. Pretty cool. And the directions on how to change them are right here. So let's go ahead and open this guy up take a look at him all right so here he is out of the package uh in the package uh he comes this part here is detached um as i was just looking at it let's go ahead and take that off pop this off and this so i can show you how to attach it because it wasn't really made clear. It, there was no instructions to uh, show you. It almost looks like the head would attach here to this little hinge here, which is just resting in there. Uh, but upon further inspection, it's too wide. So I noticed this backpack piece had these clips here. And it clips right on there, just like that, okay? And then these two pegs here will go into those holes right there. Push that back in. Okay. And then this the head just snap right in there just like that and there's Grimlock in robot mode um, very cheap uh, as you can see the arm just popped right off pops right back on there uh, the legs are hollow uh, I know I said is twelve dollars at Dollar General. Um, you would think that it would be a little bit better quality because it's not that far off price-wise from the other Transformers. Uh, but yeah, it, very, very cheap very cheap looking feeling uh not that heavy very light the plastic feels like it it could just snap in half at any time because it's just so hollow uh the details though are very nice nice paint job uh, they got the Autobot logo, pretty good, no paint flaws on it. Little bit of paint bleeding off in the eyes there onto the uh, face. But no gold paint bleed, and no red paint bleed here. So anyway, let's go ahead and follow the, the instructions, and... Uh, transform this guy into dino mode 
So what we got to do, according to the directions on the back, we got to... It says to rotate 180 degrees, but I'm not seeing how you're supposed to flip it like that. Hmm. And do we pop the head off? The directions don't really make it clear. Huh. Alright, well let's just uh, mess around with it until we figure it out. Oh no. And these things do, they pop off all the time. They're constantly popping off on me. So here's the legs. All right. See what I mean, guys? It's just very cheap, very cheaply made. For the price tag, they could have made it a little bit better. Because like I said, it's not that far off in price-wise to other Transformers of the size. So, let's see here. Should we, ah, okay. Let's see. that off right now so well, the leg can stay on we'll take that one off too for right now fold it there looks like just like that but Looks like that should be the tail. Okay. The feet rotate. The feet are what spins, it looks like. All right. Ah, okay. And then this part comes around just like that. on connect the head there it is once you figure it out it's actually a pretty simple transformation it's just the directions aren't that great because the very first thing on the instructions it tells you to right here tells you to turn it 180 degrees and with an arrow pointing at the head but that's not what turns it's just the feet turn and that's it um which it shows right here but this part doesn't turn it lifts um see so just like that this part here makes sense, but I don't understand why they have tell you to turn it 180 degrees. I don't know. But anyway, there's Dinobot, Autobot, Grimlock in robot mode. Mm, that tail doesn't look that great. So let's go ahead and transform him back into robot mode. We'll do the head. Open up the chest. 
All right. See what I mean? They just disconnect constantly. Bring the feet down. All right, rotate those around. And then bring the backpack down. Click it in, and the head goes back. All right. And there he is back in robot mode. Um, pretty decent figure. Decent transformer. They really could have made him put a little bit more effort into him. Maybe a hinge here or something. It wouldn't have really cost that much more. Like I said, $12 isn't that far off from the price tag of other Transformers in the line. So, but there you have it, guys. The Dollar General uh, Transformers Dinobot Grimlock. All right, so there he is with my other auto, my other uh, Transformers, the Autobots. As you can see, he's a, he's about the same size as, Opt, as Optimus Prime, maybe just a little bit smaller. And I know Optimus was a little bit more pricier, but they could have made him a little less cheap. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.